Hey guys, welcome to part two in developing the front end of a blog. And we are going to pick up where we left off in the last video, which was developing our front end workspace. Now we're going to um, launch our project by going to the terminal. I like using iTerm. We're going to CD and then drag our folder, project folder in there. Press enter and we're going to press brackets dot to launch brackets, our editor of choice. We'll see how we have everything here. And then we're also going to type in gulp and launch our live server. Perfect. Now let's go back to our design and, and um, we're going to be showing you how to um, just simply lay out the markup of this blog. Um, now let's take a look at what is going on in the design. And we have a mobile first design um, and of course it has a mobile menu. It has uh, this pick category drop down. Um, when you tap it, you have these categories that you can filter out or filter to. Then you have your list of blog roles and then you have load more. Then you have your um, sidebar widgets and then you have your footer. And then as you expand, the sidebar goes to the side and that's about it. Um, and everything else responds to a wider screen size as well. Now, uh, we have to figure out whether we want to use a uh, CSS framework for the grid or just do a manual type of thing. Now, uh, what I'm, what I'm um, liking about this, um, this layout is it's very simple blog roll type of thing. You have um, on the mobile, you just have a straight up list that goes down. On tablet, you have um, fixed with um, sidebar and then you still have the list here and then in the desktop version you have this list that gets split into two and I think what we can do is we can just kind of create um, a simple CSS grid and that way you'll learn how to use a CSS grid um, and then I'll, I can also show you um, what it's like to use a very very um, lightweight grid now uh, let's do that right now now we have a um, Flexbox grid that's available to us. <clears throat> you can simply go to flexboxgrid.com and this is a pretty lightweight Flexbox uh, CSS grid that uh, you can use. Um, but I think it'd be uh, kind of a better learning opportunity to kind of create a Flexbox grid from scratch. Um, and this will give us the opportunity to create only the things we need to create and then not have any of the um, any other features um, kind of bloating up our code that we don't need. So uh, let's go back to our um, workspace and let's go to brackets and start cleaning some stuff up. For instance, let's go to our main CSS and we can get rid of the background pink. Perfect. And go to our typography. Perfect. Now, uh, let's just go to our um, index.html and uh, get rid of this. And let's start laying out the markup for our header. Now, uh, let's go back to sketch and we'll create the header and we'll notice that there's some elements in here. Of course, we have the logo and then the um, icon. Now, um, before we export these, let's take a look at all the other icons we're using. We have this icon, a comment, the timestamp, um, and I believe that is it. So what we can do is we'll grab these, uh, make exportable. Let's do SVG, same for this. And same for our uh, guy here, Ex export. We have anything else at all? We do not. Oh, yes, we do. We have this arrow. Now, uh, I believe I am using um, font awesome for this. So instead of uh, exporting these, actually, we can go to font awesome. Dot io 
and go to icons and um, actually go to get started we need the link for the cdn so i'll put in my email address and we'll get the code from our email so we got the code um, and we're just going to put this in just type in um, font awesome then put that in perfect and now we'll be able to use um, all the font awesome icons now finally let's let's get started on our header let's open this up and oh one thing we need to do is export our logo Actually, let's see how many logos we do have we just have the one logo or does it resize okay um what i'm seeing is we actually have a logo that is just that and then we have this mark right here so let's group that Let's go to our desktop, let's jump, app, and we'll, we're going to add a new folder called image and put that in. Perfect. Now let's return to our workspace. So now we have our um, logo with a banner that's going to be an HR and then a hamburger icon. And then as it grows, we'll have these links. So what we need to put in our header element is the logo, hamburger icon, and the links. So let's do that. So let's create a header. Let's cite header. I am using Emmet, by the way, which is a very, very useful tool that speeds up your um, coding. So um, I put this in as a CSS class, just as you do when you're writing CSS. And all I do is press tab, and voila, you have a header with a site. Cl uh, class of site header, but I also want to nest things in there. We'll do a um, con slash, uh, I believe it's called menu. Let's go and check it out. Not font, so Google, it's font awesome. And go to icons, bars, F A F M bars. And plus, we also need a UL of site nav. She looks to nav of site nav. And then inside that, um, let's put this in parentheses so we can grip it a little bit easier. Um, and then inside the site nav, we'll have site nav list. Then in there, we'll have um, li.site nav item. Within that, we'll have a link site nav link. And we'll have how many do we need? <coughs> Four. And then we're going to press tab. We'll see that we have everything um, created nice and organized. I can let me pull up the, there we go. Um, increase the um, font size for you guys. And then we'll go down here. I was just gonna do this and then move these about, oops. Perfect. And we are just going to make this a little bit more tidy. And perfect. 
<clears throat> now let's go back, um, see that there's a list, and then there's an image right there. Now, um, we also need to have a logo. So we'll do, what we'll do is, uh, we do that, there we go. We'll do link site logo link, and we'll do an image site logo, and that'll do it. Um, and we will simply um, have link to that, and then we will go to our um, image logo dash mark. Copy path, go to index, and let's just try this. Ah, I think what we're missing is the uh, path to um, compile the image folder in our SAS or in our gulp. Yeah, we're not getting images here. So what we'll do is We'll uh, put in a image. Yes, HTML um, scripts. Build directly of all files. Pipe root should be working. Let's see. Now, uh, I figured out what was going on. I actually had a huge typo here um, in const source where I am um, pointing uh, where my images are. I actually had a bunch of these in there. I believe it was like a pretty big typo, but that fixed it. Um, and what I did now was um, go, um, I also changed uh, the um, folder from IMG to images spelled out correctly because that's what is pointing here. Um, that's what's written here, um, and I pointed it accordingly. And now we have an image folder right here. Um, and now it's pointing correctly, and uh, we can continue marking up the header. And um, we have, uh, so I added the image and then added a title of freelance jump and also added a span of freelance jump. Let's just call this class of site logo text and site logo image. Um, and let's actually wrap this up. Should we wrap this up? No, let's just keep it semantic. So let's just make this site logo. Cool, and you you can see that the hamburger menu is showing correctly because we're linking um, to Font Awesome right here. And let's go and see what's going on. Next, um, oh yeah, we need to add the um, the names of all the menu links. So we have about podcast resources and book. And now um, we also have our HR, which is our banner. Find me later. Don't need to install craft right now. Okay. Um, and perfect. That looks really janky and looks like a site from 1992, but that's what we need to build right now, is just the pure content. Um, let's go back, and now let's focus on um, this stuff, the pick a category. So, let's do that. Um, 
we have a, what should we call it? Category mobile, because this doesn't show up on anything but mobile. And within it, we're going to have a category mobile toggle. And we're also going to have um, category mobile categories or lists. Perfect. Um, in the toggle, we are going to have a span of Actually, let's do a P. We're going to pick a cat. We're also going to have, um, let's go to Fallen Awesome again. And go to icons and just press down. We need a carrot down <clears throat> right here and let's copy this perfect um, we have that sorted out let's go in here oops this should actually be inside the toggle Let's go in here and we need a list. Um, so let's go back to um, our sketch file. So we have four of these things. Let's call these, uh, let's call them links, I guess. Hmm. Should there be links or buttons? And this is the hover or active state. Um, let's see. I believe the design's kind of old. We, we can actually make this. A little better, we can uh, do inner shadow. One. Something like that. That'll be a bit better. That looks more like a box. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can we can do um, something like this. All right, call them divs. Um, and then we can also have a organized perfect and now we can copy this and we'll add a modifier if you're not familiar with what I'm doing I'm using the BEM CSS methodology which makes it um, very easy to target um, certain elements in CSS and keep things nice and lightweight. Um, this is going to be business. It's going to be marketing. This is going to be lifestyle. And this is going to be creativity. And I'm just going to replace these. Oh, 
Oops, it says live star. Cool, let's check out. Perfect. Um, and let's see what else we need. I believe that is it. So, and let's quickly go to our um, blog post now. I'm gonna have div with an ID. For an ID, you just do the hashtag and then posts, site posts. When in here, we're gonna have a post um, div. Within there, we're gonna have uh, what do what we call span, or let's do h4, h4 of hmm, posts, or so we'll call this class of posts, um, post category. We'll also have um, an h2 of post title. And then an HR, which is horizontal rule of post HR. We're going to have a span or uh, actually div of post meta. Before we do that, we have to um, put in parentheses and post meta. And within there, we're going to have um, a span of post time and span post comment. Actually, let's switch these around. Because now that I look, think about it, I think comments come first, should come first, and then the time. And that's it. Let's do two of these. Nope, that wasn't the right way. Um, perfect. Sweet. Now let's check out the page. We have nothing, of course. Um, let's go to our actual design and let's just copy stuff. Title go here. This would be business IHR and then meta. Instead of um, span, let's do make these tips. In here, we can have spans. I'll show you why. This will be our, um, oops, we don't need two. This will be our image. Um, so let's go to font awesome again. Copy this. And do zero comments. Go back and do search for clock. Perfect. And do January 
first, 2018. Perfect. That's what we need. Um, and now let's um, let's look at what we got here. And then HR. Cool. And then we have load more. Uh, we're only going to do, um, let me scrap this actually. I copy that again. So we have two of those. We're only going to um, actually write out the HTML for two of these because I will show you uh, in the next video actually how to use JavaScript to um, populate your markup with data. And then we can use that um, JavaScript as well when we are um, using uh, WordPress API if we're going to make this into either a WordPress blog or um, Kirby. CMS API, and we can use JavaScript to pull in data from there. Um, so perfect, we have two of those. And let's focus on, uh, now that the posts are done. Let's do a Also give us a class of button. button primary. Perfect. And finally, let's add this stuff um, in the in the um, widget section area, or sidebar widgets. So we have first a um, free book, free eBooks or resources thing. These two change, so let's just pick resources and then popular posts, ultimate freelancer guide, um, email uh, opt-in area, and then our footer. So this is pretty straightforward. Um, let's. And uh, before we do that, let's wrap these up in our main. I pressed Command Shift A. That's an Emmet um, keyboard shortcut. And we're going to do main site main. Perfect. And then now we have our aside. Call it sidebar. Also widgets. <clears throat> We'll have our first widget. It's going to be resources. And we'll have H2, or no, widget. So, widget resources. We're going to modify it's a completely different thing to so do that. And within there, we're going to have an H. Let's see, H2, okay. Actually, let's make an H3, it looks pretty small. H3, and widget title, plus an HR of widget HR, and then paragraph of widget description, lorem 12, um, and then a button of these are just um, CSS classes that I know I'm going to be styling later. <clears throat> or widget button or CTA.
Cool, awesome. Um, now let's do popular posts. And I'm gonna speed this up because this is pretty similar to this. I'm just going to be adding links to this because these are links to popular posts. And then uh, the lower one, I'm gonna add a class of center um, to the text and it's gonna be the same thing. So I'll just speed up this process. Now, so I just made the uh, these um, titles, I gave them a class of white because we'll add a style later on in CSS that'll make the, um, make the text white so we can have our um, backgrounds out in the back. And now um, let's, let's just create our um, email opt-in quickly. Uh, so notice that it's not a part, uh, it's not a part of the sidebar. It's actually below the whole thing. It's below our main and all that stuff too. So let's just do that. We'll call it opt-in. And we'll have a title, h3. Let's do h2 actually. And do And we'll also have H3 of opt in subtitle. Actually, we'll make these centered too. And we'll also do a form. and opt-in form. Sweet. And within here we'll do um, input grip. Let's see how, yeah. We'll do input grip. Or actually rather, I will do label for label and call this email. We'll have input dot form input dot form email. So I will type. And then we'll have a submit input. And it'll be the type submit. Have a value of sign up today. Um, I had a type text by default, and this has type text by default as well. So, so we have proper types now. Perfect. Okay. Um, and now we finally do our footer. And let's go back to our design. So it'll be just a series of URL footer. <clears throat> footer list. Item and then footer link. And let's do eight of those. Okay. 
And now we just need a bottom footer. Actually, um, should be inside here, a little bit more semantic. And we'll have span of credit, link span of privacy, and then the link. We'll do and copy. And, and let's check this out. Sweet. Um, so we have our markup for um, the header, a couple of the posts, and then our sidebar widgets and our footer. Um, that wraps up this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to um, get some basic styles going so it looks a little bit better um, and then touch into some JavaScript as well so we can um, get a JSON file that I will provide for you guys and then um, uh, use that to populate this page with data and uh, it should be fun. And then the video after will really dive into the styles and make this look as good as uh, the design and sketch. And that covers up uh, today's video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.